this set of videos, I'm going to go over a bunch of tips that will hopefully help you when it comes to your organization within Logic. And for quite a few of the tips, I've already done separate videos where I go more in depth on that particular thing and actually show you how to do and implement those things. Um, in the description below, I'll leave links to those further videos in case you're interested in diving a bit deeper with those. So starting off, tip number one is using markers to visually lay out the structure of your track from beginning to end. I've got some markers set up at the top of this track here, um, and they just help you to keep track of where you are in your project. They make it easier to navigate yourself around your project. Um, let's say I needed to go to the second chorus. I know it's right there. Um, if I need to go to the solo, again, I know it's there. I've done a separate video on how to use markers, so if you want to know how to set them up, check out that video linked in the description. Tip number two is colouring your regions. Now, the colours help you visually identify faster which track is which. Um, so, on this project here, I've got my guitars in blue, main vocals in an orangey red, uh, backing vocals in orange, bass in yellow. Um, you could also get into the habit of using a certain colour for a certain instrument across all of your projects. So, for example, you could consistently have the colour yellow for your bass across all of your projects. Um, and you'll start to associate that track colour with that instrument. Again, I've done a separate video on how to use colours, link in the description. Tip three is giving your tracks and regions a name. Um, now, if you create lots of audio tracks on the side here, um, the default audio tracks are just going to come up as audio with a number next to them. Um, and it's harder to differentiate between tracks when you've got a whole project with audio tracks just labelled like that. So what I would do is give your track a name so you can easily identify what it is, um, like I've done up here. So guitar, um, overdubs, solo, main vocals, and harmonies. Um, something you might want to do as well is give them shorter names like this. Um, and the reason for that is uh, when you go to the mixer, those names will fit nicely into the labels there. You can also rename regions in the main window here as well. Um, so you can see that I've got uh, Vox, Harmonies, Bass. Tip number four is adding track icons to your tracks on the left here. Um, and the track icons are these little pictures that you can see here. Um, and these just make your tracks even easier to instantly identify. Um, so I can look at that and know instantly it's a guitar track. And anyone else looking at your project will know instantly as well. Um, again, link in the description for a short separate video um, on setting up your track icons. Tip five is using the notepad in Logic. Um, you can use this to make notes on your project, things you've already done, things you still need to do. Uh, sometimes something I do is note down on here the last thing I was doing or the last thing I was working on before I closed the project. Um, if you haven't touched a project for a few days or more, when you go back to it, um, it might take a little bit of time remembering what it is in particular um, you were last working on. But if you've made a quick note, um, that can help jog your memory when you jump back into the project again. Um, and it means you can hit the ground running doing whatever you were doing. So if the last thing you were doing was EQ on the guitar, um, if you've made a quick note of that, you can see the note you left yourself and jump straight back into where you were. Pen and paper is great a lot of the time when it comes to making notes, um, but this is quite a good tool in that your notes will obviously save um, with your project. Um, video link in the description for a more detailed tutorial on using the notepad. Tip number six is putting the same instrument channels together in a project. Um, so notice I've generally got similar instrumentation together. I know I've got bass at the bottom, um, but my um, acoustic guitars are together. Uh, the vocals are together. Um, if I were to, I don't know, sort of mix these up, um, it gets a little more unorganized. And the more tracks you have in a project, the more important this tip will be. Um, I don't have a great deal of tracks here, uh, but if you were to start layering lots and lots of instrumentation, you probably want to be putting similar instruments together um, just for your organization. It will be easier when it comes to finding your instruments. Something you could do as well is you could keep the same positions for your instruments across all your projects. Um, and what I mean by that is that you could have, for example, drums at the top of all your projects um, or bass at the bottom of all of your projects. And as you get used to doing your projects like that, you'll get familiar with where your instrumentation is consistently sitting. Um, you're not always searching for the right tracks somewhere in the window uh, because you know, for example, my bass is always at the bottom. Following on from that, another thing you can do is group tracks together. Um, and that's something I've done here with the vocal harmonies. So if I bring this down, you can see that my three harmony tracks are there. 
So if I want to do some editing on these particular tracks, I can open this up like this. Um, when I'm not working on them, then I can hide those. Um, it creates a bit more space in the project and makes things look a bit neater. So that's something that I could do with these guitar parts here. Um, these are effectively the same guitar part. I've just got one panned over to the left and one panned over to the right. So you can have these open, um, but you can hide them. Um, like I said before, I don't have a lot of tracks here, uh, but the bigger your project is, the more effective these track stacks might be uh, when it comes to freeing up visual space in the window. Um, that's if you've got similar tracks that you could group together. You don't have to use track stacks, but the option's there. 